<sighs> nice yeah, it would be really nice if they did. <clears throat> what up, homies of the interwebs? This is Lugnut Squabble coming at you from POW! Maverick Holly Davidson, and today we're reviewing this 1200 Custom. This is an 18, but the 19s are no different. But uh, there's a couple things that have changed from the uh, earlier 1200 Customs, and uh, I'll point them out on the ride. But uh, yeah, I'm. I'm actually kind of excited about this bike. I've actually ridden this on highway and it is surprisingly comfortable. So I'm not going to be doing any highway riding, but I'll go further into detail about it. And uh, anywho, roll the tape. Ah, uh, yeah. Anywho, if you like motorcycle content, uh, subscribe uh, right now. Turn that notification bell. Boom. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And here we go. Uh, this is a very comfortable motorcycle. I was honestly like the first time I rode one of these after riding other Sportsters. I was pleasantly surprised at how comfortable they are. Let's see, just a little camera. <laughs> so sportsters in general, you know, they're they're peppy. I mean, the way that they're geared, the five, you know, it has a five-speed transmission, 1200 cc Evo motor, very reliable, very bulletproof, and really, if you want one of these, it's really you would want one for mainly commuting you don't really want you know something to travel in this is probably not the best bike for you there's people that do it Woo <laughs> there's people that you know have taken one of these and toured the country with them and they actually made a touring model for you know this platform that's the 1200t the 1200 touring and it's basically a custom with bags and windshield you know but uh yeah, there's really not much of a difference between the, those two models, but I need to point something out that has changed because the last one that I rode was a 2015 and <laughs> some things have changed and most people would not probably, they probably wouldn't notice it, but I'm going to point them out. So, uh, the 1200 Custom used to be all chrome, now this has uh, black rocker boxes, yeah, so I think it looks better. But at the same time, I'm not. It looks better, but I don't know that it makes that much of a difference for me. Like, it wouldn't be something that, oh, now it has black rocker boxes. Now I'm definitely going to buy one. Eh, you know, it's just kind of an aesthetic thing. Other things are blacked out, like the primary, uh, not the primary, the derby cover is now black. This comes stock is black, uh, along with other components are painted black as well. So they blacked out a couple components. That way the chrome wasn't overwhelming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the suspension is definitely not set up for someone my weight. But um, one of the most uh, annoying things that I think that they changed, and it makes no sense, is that they put mid controllers on these things. And you might say, well, you know, it is a Sportster. It is kind of like you're supposed to be aggressive with it, and hanging forwards is not necessarily, not necessarily uh, what you need for that. And let me explain. If you had mid controllers, you have a little bit better lean angle, and um, you kind of have better control of the motorcycle. Just the way that your body is distributed on, over the motorcycle. Uh, the other thing is, is again. The lean angle, the lean angle is not going to change, but if you have in, uh, the forwards on there, when you lean, uh, those forwards will touch the ground faster um, than if you had it on where they are right now, mids. Mids are great, but I will have to say one thing. The 1200 Custom, in my mind, is kind of like the touring of all the Sportsters. 
and I, like I said, I've ran, I rode a 2015 not long ago on highway, and I was really surprised how comfortable this was. The, the way that the bars are situated, they're great. The seat is great. And the fact that, I mean, I'm about six foot, and the fact that I could do that number right there, very comfortable. It was a very surprising, surprisingly comfortable motorcycle being that it is a sportster and I'm not saying that all sportsters are uncomfortable it's just like if you were going to go a little bit longer than a, an hour <laughs> or even three hours let's just say three hours if you're going longer than three hours um, that's where you can definitely feel the difference between this sportster and say an iron 883 or even an iron 1200 so the bars are perfectly placed the seat is perfectly placed but now what they've done with changing to mid controllers it kind of changes how my body sits on this bike. It makes me makes my body maybe lean a little bit further. I feel a little bit more cramped. Not that it, not that I feel cramped. I mean, I do, but I don't. Let me explain. So, oh, there's police. Oi. Oi. Bump. Anywho, as I was saying, let me expand on the mid controller. So, this not very uncomfortable it really isn't uncomfortable this is actually a good, good a good seating position I feel comfortable I do feel like I have to lean a tight bit over with the bars but that was the same as it was on the previous one like the, the controllers didn't change that for me I don't even know why I talked about that but anywho uh, having my knees in this position and my, my, my legs the way that they are um, after a while it, it's definitely gonna be annoying you're definitely going to start wanting to stretch out your leg and i think having those forward controllers kind of made sense with this bike because again this is the comfortable bike of the lineup the big fat tires the <laughs> the, you know, the way that the handlebar is situated as i mentioned earlier and the seat it was the perfect combination for someone my size if i wanted to have a 1200 uh, custom that's what i would want i would want forward controllers on it because that is what's comfortable if I was to buy a Sportster in general, this probably wouldn't be the one that I would purchase for myself based on how I ride. I would probably get a Roadster because it has inverted front suspension, taller suspension in the back, and just the way that my body is, the ergonomics of it is just conducive to riding aggressively. This is not a bike that I think of riding, you can, you can actually ride this thing aggressively. And like I said, the engine in, the, in combo with the uh, transmission that it has, Oh my gosh, you can beat the snot out of it, and it's absolutely fantastic. But, the way that the frame and correlation with the suspension makes a huge difference if you want to be aggressive with it. So, you can be aggressive with it, you can lean this, obviously you can lean a little bit more, now that it has mid controllers, but then again, this is, this. I, I don't think anyone buys a 1200 Custom to ride it aggressively. Of course, if you end up changing the forks and then, you know, the rear suspension and change a couple things here and there, then yeah, well, you can do whatever the heck you want, but that doesn't change the fact that from factory, in my opinion, this should have had forward controllers. Other than that, not much to complain about here. Uh, it is a Sportster. It is a nice in-town bike. Very peppy, very comfortable, and I am comfortable. I just would be very much more comfortable <laughs> if I had forward controllers why why do they do that now the interesting thing is like if you look at the old 1200 customs they used to have a 21 inch uh, front wheel this this tank was a little different it, it it definitely had like a nostalgic feel to it one I don't know if the nostalgic feel is what I'm the, the words that I'm looking for but it just it kind of it had a vibe to it and, and I was talking to one of the technicians and he was like yeah you know the closest thing to the old Toyota custom was is the 72 the 72 Sportster it just had like that kind of like a gangster feel to it I don't I really don't know how to explain it but that's what this used to be and Harley changed it completely so kind of it, it just didn't make sense to call this a 1200 custom but I mean, I'm not Harley, and I don't get to make those decisions, so... But it is a great, it's a fantastic bike. I think anyone who would buy one would be getting a very comfortable bike. And, <laughs> again, they're very reliable. So, this is, it, it is, it is a fantastic bike. For someone my size, and for my style of riding, this is probably not the best choice for me. But it might be the best choice for you. Let's get through here. Wow! Motorcycle!
<laughs> That's what I get for riding on two wheels instead of four. Space. Um. Anywho, if you like the content, if you like what you saw or heard, uh, go ahead and subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and follow us on Instagram. That is Mav Harley, M A V H A R L E Y, and of course on Facebook, Mav Harley Davidson. Also, check us out on our uh, our podcasts. It is soundcloud.com forward slash ML dash HD or on your iTunes account. Just look at your podcast as MLHD, one word, and follow us, subscribe, listen to the interviews that I do with everybody that works here, basically. So <laughs> go ahead and subscribe there and uh, hey, reach out to me, Guapo, and that's on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and oh, geez, what is this crap right here? And what else? Oh, yeah. And I'm Snapchat. So reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns. And uh, call us here at 972-245-1492. In the meantime... Man, I'm just struggling to get through here. Woo! In the meantime, get on your Harley and get some wind therapy. Later! Mm-hmm.